fuck am I doing playing this game again? All right, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing today cut commentary over some whatever the fuck I decide. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever you see right now is something that's gonna be for visual background purposes. Okay, not because I enjoy this. Not to do a game of gun game. Uh, I'm just gonna be playing this in the background while I talk about today's topic, which is going to be breast cancer awareness month and the problems that come with it. So, oh my God, this feels so weird playing this. So one of the main problems that comes with, um, okay, first of all, actually, before I talk about the problems, I should talk about what exactly it is. So in the month of October, it is breast cancer awareness month. Uh, the whole point of that is to raise awareness for the fact that, um, well, breast cancer is a serious problem for women. Uh, I think it also affects men but it's obviously not as prominent. So um, what the point of this whole thing is, is to raise awareness for it, you know, so people know how it affects people, what it does, etc., etc. That's the whole goal behind why it's, it's a thing. The thing is, it's not properly marketed the way that it should be. And here's why. Okay, so the NFL is a huge, huge promoter of this. They promote it, they put pink on the jerseys, all the players wear pink, you know, to support it because uh, the breast cancer symbol is a pink ribbon and everybody supports it through doing that. But nobody really, they don't really raise actual awareness about the disease itself. I sit on my ass every Sunday for about eight hours watching football and I never see a, I guess, promotion towards actually educating people what breast cancer does, how to stop it, etc. You occasionally see commercials on TV saying you should regularly get checked, etc. But there's nothing that actually tells you, you know, what it does or what the, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't educate you about it at all. And that is a huge flaw in the marketing behind it because all it does is let you know that it exists and all it does is, you know, doesn't really encourage you to do anything else except wear pink. All right, so another fundamental problem that stems from the actual poor marketing of Breast Cancer Awareness Month is the fact that it's almost turned into a fashion statement. Um, like I said, in the NFL, it's a huge thing for players to just wear pink and, you know, that's that's what they do for the whole month. They all wear pink, uh, you know, like gloves, socks, um, their wrap is pink, you know, everything. But another thing that stems from that, it goes into the uh, teen community too. So there's a lot of teenage football players, obviously. That's a huge thing. And they kind of stem it to them, you know, they sell pink sleeves or whatever. I always see that like on Instagram. All these companies are selling pink sleeves for this month because it is highly profitable and people want to be, you know, fashionable or whatever. And it sticks with the sense that, you know, if you're wearing pink, it's considered, you know, fashionable and it's what's in for this month. But one thing you don't see on a lot of these promotions is the fact that, you know, there's no actual proceeds going from that to donating to Breast Cancer Awareness. Zero percent of the money that is raised from selling these pink sleeves, pink gear, whatever, goes to actually solving the problems behind this. All right, so another thing I can kind of stem this back to is something, a uh, social media phenomenon that happened last year in August, I believe. So that was over, you know, over a year ago, 14 months ago, and that was the Ice Bucket Challenge. And that was a huge deal. And it was about promotion of this awful, awful disease called ALS or uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. And the whole point of it was to raise awareness about the disease itself, but it was also to raise money for it. And it was a huge, huge thing on social media. Everybody was doing it but you saw very few people actually donating to the cause after they did it because it was more of a fashion statement to do it or a kind of a the popular thing to do was to kind of, um, you know, do this ice bucket challenge rather than actually donating because, you know, none of your friends saw you, the, you know, the donating part after they just saw that you, you know, poured a bunch of ice on yourself and that somehow would help curing the disease. And I'm not saying I didn't, partake in these things. I'm not saying I'm not, you know, guilty of it. I'm just saying that like, it's a flaw as a whole by, you know, the people promoting it, they're promoting it the wrong way. And, um, you know, society's not really taking it seriously because they see it as more of a popular thing to do rather than actually, you know, 
helping find a cure for these diseases. All right, so now I'm gonna suggest some ways that this can change and we can kind of, you know, kind of change the way that this is happening and, um, you know, kind of restructure it. Um, obviously, nobody's gonna to listen to this, so this is just some suggestions that I'm kind of thinking out loud. One of them is what change the way it's promoted. Change it to not only breast cancer awareness, but breast cancer donation, because obviously a cure has not been found for it yet, so maybe kind of encourage people to donate more if they can. Um, stuff like that. Don't just make it about a fashion statement, you know, pink, you know, it does, it does say a lot. It does get people involved when they see that like, oh, if I can be a part of this and I get to wear pink and I can, I can kind of wear that as a, um, a, a sort of statement to say I support breast cancer. Cause it's, you're saying, you're publicly saying you support breast cancer instead of, you know, nobody can, you can't really wear a badge around that says I donated X amount of money to breast cancer, but you can wear a pink shirt to say, oh, I support breast cancer awareness or whatever. So one way to kind of solve this problem of it being a more of a social phenomenon rather than actually people trying to fix the problem would be to um, encourage people to donate more. Make that kind of the, um, I guess the uh, slogan is, you know, don't just make people aware of breast cancer, make them, you know, encourage them to donate money to it and actually find a cure for the problem instead of just telling them to, you know, promote it because you can promote a problem forever actually doing something about it and finding a solution is something completely different all right that's all for this today's video i will see you guys on wednesday with probably another video so of this um yeah my madden videos obviously i've been doing too well because a lot of people did not come here for madden you guys keep doing call of duty i'll probably soon be uploading some madden because i'm really enjoying the game right now I'm really hitting this one that's all for today see you guys in the next video